Well, good evening, friends in Christ Jesus. This is Sister Gwendolyn Song, and I am not looking forward to giving out this prophetic news message this evening, but I will obey the Lord, my God, the one who has given his life for me. The title of this prophetic broadcast this evening is Limited Nuclear Strikes Are Coming to the USA, Get Your Spiritual Houses in Order. Now, first of all, what does it mean to get your spiritual house in order? It means to come to the Lord with a repentant heart and confess the sins in your life and invite him to be your all in all. And I mean every sin, any sin that you can recall, repent because unconfessed sin is a very big issue with our holy God. He is the holy one of Israel and his judgments are also holy and righteous. And he knows what he's doing as he is allowing prophecy to come to pass. And I also want to add here that if you, you have received a prophetic dream or a prophetic word from the Lord after you have prayed over it and after you have tested the spirit, then you also need to release it because you don't want the blood on your hands. We read in Ezekiel 33 chapter 8, it states, when I say to the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. So in other words, friends, if you have also been called to be a watchman on the wall, and you haven't warned others because you are afraid of ridicule, Hey, I would rather be mocked by man any day than be disciplined by God Almighty later. And I want to just explain to you, friends, a lot of the time the Lord speaks to me through prophetic dreams. And I will go to prayer immediately and I'll make sure that they line up with the word of God and that it's consistent with the other messages that I have been receiving as well. So two days ago, I received a prophetic dream on this topic of nuclear war, and I prayed over it, and then the next morning, I had another prophetic dream on the very same topic. I'm going to uh, first explain the first dream, dream number one, and in this dream, I was walking down the halls of a hospital, and I am a nurse by profession, and I popped my head into a room because there was a rather large gathering in the room. And I was so shocked to see some of my old friends from a church that I used to attend. They were in that room. The patient who was in the bed and who was in very poor condition was someone who had been healthy his whole life. Not a sickness that I can even remember after going to church with his family and him for about six years. There he lay in the bed, struggling for his life with very advanced stage cancer. Now, what the Lord made me aware of in the dream, friends, was that the cause of the cancer was from a nuclear war here in the USA. There was nuclear fallout that had affected many of our citizens. And that was the end of that dream. And I prayed over that dream off and on yesterday and even early this morning. And I asked the Lord to confirm the dream again and if I were to share it. And you know what he did? He gave me another dream this morning. This morning. Today is Saturday, March 12, 2022. And in this dream, I was discussing with a man in my dream that I needed to go and donate blood because there was a very serious lack of blood for blood transfusions here in the USA. And more people were sick than usual with various types of cancer. And healthy people like myself, we were counting the days until we could go back to the blood bank and donate more blood again. The USA, it indeed, was in a health crisis. And uh, that was the end of that dream. Friends, I could go into many different angles with this message this evening, but I'm going to come at it from this angle. As a nation, we have not repented. We have now inherited a leadership that wants war and destruction with their ultimate goal of ushering in their new world order. And in time, friends, that is exactly what they're going to get because the Bible is true. 
Satanists they are at the helm in our nation and they have cast many spells on the people with their fake news that they're dishing out from Washington. So it's not a time to be sitting there watching movies, playing video games, wasting our time that we could be spent in prayer. It's time to be on our knees in prayer, fasting and repenting before the Lord. We as a nation, we are on borrowed time. And we know what is coming if we are in Christ. The Lord keeps his people informed in various ways. And I also want to add here that we can still have joy in the days that we have left if we operate in the spirit of God. The joy of the Lord is our strength, friends. Seriously, that's not just a cliche. It is the pure truth. And anyone who is struggling out there tonight, just get down on your knees and cry out to God and, and ask him for his peace. Ask him to supernaturally touch your life and expect it. That is exactly what you will get. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. And it also says those who wait on the Lord, the Lord will renew your strength. But the Bible also says in the book of James that if we ask God anything with doubting, we will not get what we ask for. So it's imperative, friends, to ask God to begin growing your faith, your mustard seed of faith, if you are in a season of doubt. And I don't think I'm going to make any additional comments on here about when this will happen. I'm not going to to give my ideas about that. I'm only going to speak what the Lord has given me. But friends, I keep praying daily for God to give this nation more time. That's just how I pray. And it might be my flesh, the way I pray like that, or perhaps, perhaps it's the Holy Spirit guiding me. I'm just not sure. But my prayer for all of you out there tonight is that we live a life that celebrates the wondrous kingdom that we are headed to. If if we are in Christ. If we're in Christ, we are heaven bound. And if we're in Christ, we're already citizens of the kingdom of God. Amen. So do you believe that tonight, friends? If you do, live like it. Live like you are a citizen of heaven and tell others about Jesus saving grace. And see if your friends have a Bible and teach them the basics, if you would, please. Jesus is counting on you. Make our Lord proud, all right? Okay, friends, well, until next time, good night.